Getting to know the gopher tortoise. Burrow explorers. Hi, I'm Sam. And I'm Gabriel. And we're, we're herpetology, herpetology interns at Archbold Biological Station. Station. Herpetology is the study of reptiles and amphibians. So that means we study snakes, frogs, lizards, and turtles. The species we study is the gopher tortoise. Gopher tortoises are medium-sized turtles that live a long time, have tough scaly skin, and a shell. They live in scrubland and other upland habitats like those found here at Archbold Biological Station in Central Florida and in the American Southeast. Gopher tortoises are not as widespread as they used to be, so they need our help to avoid extinction in the future. Here at Archbold, we've been studying gopher tortoises since 1967. That's 46 years of gopher tortoise research. Wow, that's a really long time. I know! Today, we're going to show you how we research gopher tortoises here at Archbold. You ready? Come on! Guys, you missed it! Right as we came over, there was a gopher tortoise sitting right on the apron of its burrow. But before we could get here, he saw us and he ran back in. As you can see, he's got a plastron scrape. His plastron is the belly and he's got his little tracks as he slid right back into his burrow. So we're going to find out who lives here using one of our traps. You ready? While I go get one of our live traps to try and catch this gopher tortoise, let's check in with Gabriel. He's using our burrow scope to explore some of the other burrows. Another way that we do tortoise research here at Archbolt is by studying the burrows that they dig with their shovel-like claws. These burrows can be as long as 20 meters or 66 feet long. That's almost as long as the White House is tall. It's amazing that such a small creature can build such a large burrow. Now, to study these burrows, a special tool we use here at Archbolt is the burrow scope. Now, it has camera at the very end and it's like a long hose and it also has lights so we can see what's going on down at the end of the burrow and we have this special screen that lets us see so let's take a look and see what's inside this burrow here's what the burrow scope sees down there what do you think we're gonna find oh look it looks like there's a tortoise down there that's awesome with the screen on the surface I can get a really good look at a tortoise or other animals down in the burrow. That brings us to one of the reasons gopher tortoises are so important. Why are gopher tortoises so important, Gabriel? The gopher tortoise is a keystone species. A keystone species is a species that greatly changes the habitat around it and thus affects a large number of other animals. Many animals share gopher tortoise burrows. These animals are known as commensals and include the gopher frog, the Florida mouse, the federally threatened eastern indigo snake, and more than 300 other species. Speaking of burrows, let's check back in with Sam to see what she's up to. From doing scientific surveys, we know how many gopher tortoise burrows are in the area. But because gopher tortoises can use more than one burrow at a time, we don't always know if a burrow has a gopher tortoise in it. We want to know how many gopher tortoises are here in our study site so that we can tell if our population is increasing or decreasing over time. With that in mind, let's go see if our live trap caught anything. Alright guys, it's been a couple of hours and I'm pretty sure we have a friend in here. So let's see who it is. Oh, hello there. Awesome. Awesome. Alright, so it looks like we've caught number 711 by her faded paint marks so what we're going to do is we're going to bring 711 back to our lab and we're going to measure her you ready after we take them back to the lab we take their measurements just like the doctor takes your height and weight to see how fast you're growing we take the same measurements for the tortoises to see how fast they're growing one type of data we collect is age but how do you tell how old a tortoise is? For gopher tortoises, you count their growth rings when they're still young. If you look at this photo on the right, you can see that most of the rings on the old tortoise have been worn away. When 711 was first caught in 1986, she had eight rings, which means she was about eight years old. If you do the math, 
that makes her about 35 years old today. Believe it or not, that's still young for a tortoise. They can probably live to be, get ready for it, 80 years old. Once they've been measured, each tortoise gets a number that we paint onto their shell. The numbers help the researchers identify individual tortoises. After a short time in the lab, we take them back to their burrows. See you later, 7-Eleven. The study of gopher tortoises is just one example of the exciting research we do here at Archbold. If you're interested in our other research projects, check out our website at archbold-station.org. If you want to be a wildlife biologist too, here's what you can do. If you live near Lake Placid, Florida, and are between the ages of 7 and 12, you can attend scrub camp here at Archbold to learn more about gopher tortoises and scrub habitats. To learn more about scrub camp, check out the Facebook page at facebook.com slash scrubedu.